Hi guys. Today, Hazel and I are gonna show you how to do a pretty mosaic picture. Say hi, Hazel. Hi. Hi, everybody. We miss ya. We can't wait to see everybody. So in your packets this week, I gave you some colored paper. So we're gonna use that in our mosaic picture. Um, you're also gonna need some glue sticks to glue your paper down, a pair of scissors to cut your paper with, and Hazel and I have chosen a piece of black paper to do our picture on. So I got us both a piece of chalk to draw our picture out of what we're gonna do in the mosaic, because you kind of need an outline. You can use white paper and a pencil. We just happen to have some black paper and chalk on hand, so that's what we're gonna use. So you guys get your stuff ready and come back here and meet us and let's do this fun little picture together, okay? Right? Mm -hmm. Right, okay. I see you got all your stuff gathered up. We've got all of our stuff. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our black piece of paper and we're gonna draw our design on it that we want to do on our mosaic. So we're gonna draw with chalk and I'm just gonna kinda do an abstract picture here. And Hazel's designing her own picture and we're just gonna draw those out so we have a guideline something to go by. I'm just putting lots of shapes on mine. And it doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna cover all this up anyway with our colored pieces of paper. And I'm just slowly filling in my page. Hazel's working on her page. And there we have it. There's my design. I'm gonna add just a few more circles in here. Just because. Yeah. It looks like a bird. It does look like a bird. Okay, so after we have our design, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our pieces of paper and we're gonna cut them up into lots of tiny little pieces. So there's your stack of paper and there's your scissors. I'm gonna make a pile here. We'll move this out of your way a little bit and you can make a pile here. So you just wanna cut them up into lots of different shapes. Doesn't really matter. You just want lots of pieces. So as you can see, I'm kinda of cutting it like turning my paper different ways so that I get different shapes as I go. And you wanna do this with all your paper or as much as you think you'll need to cover your little mosaic picture. So you want lots of color choices. So you wanna do several different colors so that then you can, when it comes to the gluing part, you can just concentrate on the gluing. So get all your cutting done first is the best way to go. So I'm just cutting this up. Now I've got my little pile of blue there. Cutting different shaped pieces. Those are right handed scissors. Yeah. Uh -huh. Can you use your other hand? They'll probably cut better. I couldn't find any left handed ones. Hazel's left handed, so she has a hard time using scissors with her left hand unless we find left handed scissors, which aren't that easy to find. Huh? Mm -hmm. So, practice with both hands on cutting is the way to do it. So we're gonna cut up our paper, and you guys cut up your paper, and then we'll come back and we'll start the gluing, okay? All right, so we got all our papers cut up. I see you got your papers cut up too. So what we're gonna do is decide what color is gonna go where. So I'm gonna start with yellow in the middle of mine. So I'm just gonna cover this part with glue, where I'm gonna put my yellow pieces. Just put a little bit of glue there. And then I'm gonna pick up my pieces and just lay them on there, leaving a little bit of space in between so that we can see our black paper under there. And you just fill in. I'm gonna use both yellows. We have a yellow gold and a yellow. 
I'm just going to start laying those pieces right on in there. I also have a little bit of orange over here. So maybe I'm going to put some bright orange in the middle. How's yours going? Good. Good. Put some more in my yellow. Some more in my goldish color. You just want to kind of lay those in there. Until your picture starts taking shape. It's kind of a fun little project to do. And it doesn't take a really long time. It takes a little bit cutting up all your papers. That probably takes the longest, huh, Hazel? Mm-hmm. And so, as you can see, I've already got the circle filled in. See, that didn't take very long, now did it? Nope. So, you just keep deciding what colors you want where. And you put your little bit of glue on there. Okay, so these I'm going to do in blue. So if my pieces are too big, I just go ahead and tear them a little bit more until they're the shape that I want. Maybe I'll add a little green to that one. And then maybe I'll put a little green on this one first, and then the blue. So if you lick your finger and push on the paper, you can pick it up easier sometimes. You just pick up one piece at a time. I'm doing the color of the sunset. Hazel's working on a sunset, and I'm doing an abstract picture, kind of similar to a mandala. And so there you go. So we're going to keep gluing our pieces on, and you keep gluing your pieces on, and we'll come back and see how we all did. Okay, so have fun with it. Be creative. Use lots of shapes. Fill it in how you want. All right, we'll be back. All right, guys. I hope you had as much fun as we did on this one. This is what my picture looks like so far, and this is Hazel's picture so far. As you can see, we probably need to glue a few things down a little bit better. Um, I might go ahead and fill in the last of it. I haven't decided yet. So you guys have fun with this. We had fun. Um, we will see you again in our next video. Um, anything you want to say? Say we miss you. We hope to see you soon. Love ya. Till next time. Bye. Bye.